morning dear students today we will discuss as you like it part 4 in this series of lectures we will take up act 1 scene 1 as you like it the opening scene takes place in the grounds of oliver's house it provides a great deal of movement and action it also serves to establish the motivational basis for much of orlando's future behavior he speaks to adam who has been a servant in the house for years he expresses his bitter resentment against his older brother that is oliver he compares his state to that of the animals he intends to rebel against this servitude which he suffers Orlando and Oliver quarrel. Oliver enters the room. Orlando attacks him for not allowing him to educate himself or to seek adventure. The two brothers quarrel with each other. They ignore Adam's remonstrances that they should not mar their father's memory. with such unseemly behavior orlando threatens oliver he says that he will leave to seek his fortunes elsewhere unless oliver allows him to become the gentleman that his birth decrees oliver is short with orlando he even insults adam by calling him an old dog he shows neither awareness nor interest in the fact that the old man has been a faithful and affectionate servant for years now the conspiracy of oliver and charles orlando and adam leave in anger oliver summons charles calls charles charles is the wrestling champion a wrestler the professional wrestler he is to exhibit or display his strength and skill in a match at court the next day in the discussion charles and oliver reveal some of the gossip of the court the old duke who has been banished is living in the forest of arden like the legendary robin hood rosalind his daughter remains at court she and celia the usurper's daughter continue their loving friendship though charles is a wrestler he reveals himself as a man of some sensitivity and compassion first he relates the court gossip to oliver then he confides in him the news that orlando intends to enter tomorrow's wrestling match disguised charles expresses his reluctance or unwillingness to pit his vast strength and experience against young orlando he knows that everyone is so fond of the gracious young man charles asks oliver to use his influence to prevent his brothers entering the match oliver however acts like a villain he tells charles that orlando will kill him unless he himself is killed in the match he eventually convinces him that orlando is actually a violent plotting villain charles leaves oliver 
he is convinced that he must destroy Orlando for the good of everyone. Oliver remains content or satisfied in the knowledge that his young rival will be easily rendered harmless. Now let's discuss scene 2 of Act 1. The scene here shifts to the palace of the Duke. Rosalind and Celia are heard discussing their personal problems. Rosalind is deeply disturbed by her father's banishment. Celia is disturbed because her own father is responsible for the banishment of the senior Duke. Both girls declare their mutual devotion to each other. Celia vows that she would substitute Rosalind's father for her own and Rosalind finally offers to give up her unhappiness in order to try to lessen Celia's distress. They are eventually joined by the court clown who is known as Touchstone. There is a good deal of banter among the three. Touchstone makes fun of some of the chivalric trappings which surround court life. Now, the wrestling match. Wrestling match takes place in scene 2 of Act 1. Touchstone, the clown. Celia, the daughter of uh, daughter of the junior duke. Frederick and Rosalind, daughter of the senior duke, the banished duke. Three of them are joined by Lee Biu, who is one of Duke's Frederick's courtiers. Liu Biu is Frederick's courtiers. So they join the company. He tells the girls of Charles' prowess at wrestling. Prowess means aggressiveness or power at wrestling. He also tells them that they may soon have the opportunity of seeing an interesting match. Duke Frederick and his attendants then come on the scene. There is a great to do about the fate of the unknown challenger. Everyone thinks that he is too young and vulnerable to succeed against Charles. The two girls plead with the young challenger, who of course is Orlando. Who is young challenger? Orlando, the younger brother of Oliver. They plead, the two young girls, Celia and Rosalind, they request Orlando not to attempt the match. However, they are unsuc unsuccessful and the wrestlers meet. Everyone is amazed to see that the anonymous Orlando defeats Charles. He is escorted off the stage in triumph. He receives the token of the admiring Rosalind and Celia. Now, Orlando is threatened. He receives threat. Orlando's triumph is short-lived. However, after the Duke and his party leaves, Libio returns to tell Orlando that he must leave the court immediately. The Duke was amused by the excellent wrestling match, but he is a little concerned that such a charming, able young man as Orlando remains at large in his territory. Libio informs Orlando that Rosalind's pleasure in his company will not help. He tells him that Rosalind herself is in danger of banishment. He ends his speech by encouraging Orlando to flee or to run before the Duke changes his mood of general dissatisfaction to one of real malice or hatred. Now, last scene, 
of the act one third scene celia and rosalind again open the scene which takes place within the palace it becomes immediately apparent that rosalind is no longer her former self when she tries to be amusing for her cousin's sake she comes up with labored and ordinary witticism the source of her melody is hinted at when celia advises her to wrestle with her affections rosalind replies that her affections take the part of a better wrestler than herself it is obvious that she has been smitten by orlando means she has been attracted by orlando she is the picture of the traditional sighing hapless lover rosalind's banishment rosalind's fancied and pleasant ills are soon put to flight by a very real danger duke frederick his uncle comes in and announces that she means rosalind as like her father must leave the court means rosalind is finally ordered to be banished or to leave the court rosalind is shocked she hears herself called traitor she has no idea what has provoked this sudden outburst of the duke frederick rosalind pleads for mercy but is granted none after duke frederick leaves celia resolves that they must both leave the two girls decide to seek refuge with the banished duke in the forest of arden the plan to disguise themselves as brother and sister as protection against marinders rosalind being taller with will become ganymede and celia will be eliana his sister the scene and the act close as the two girls hurry off to prepare their disguises this is act 1 is a busy crowded eventful segment of this most eventful play most of the major characters are introduced and rapidly characterized a brief summary of the pertinent previous action is given to the audience definite hints as to future behavior are also provided the audience discovers that orlando and rosalind both are handsome and appealing ones have become victims of family quarrel the audience sees rosalind and celia young girls leave the palace in disguise to join the banished duke in the forest of arden it is hoped that orlando too will probably find his way thence in a sense it can be said that Shakespeare uses act 1 to hurry all his major characters off to the forest of Arden where the most important events will take place So dear students we discussed in this act a few important characters the senior duke and his younger brother the junior duke that is Frederick so senior duke was banished by frederick to the forest of arden and after that we have seen orlando and oliver both of them are brothers but they don't have good relation between them oliver hates orlando and he organizes the wrestling match between orlando and this man who is a very famous wrestler 
चार्ल्स बट फॉर्च्यून हियर फेवर्स ऑर्लेंडो एंड अल्टीमेटली ऑर्लेंडो विन्स ऑलिवर बिकम्स एंग्री एट द सेम टाइम वॉट हैपन्स दिस फ्रेडरिक ऑल्सो बिकम्स वेरी एंग्री सिंपली बिकॉज रोजलेंड गिवज ऑर्लेंडो हा नेकलेस हा चेन एज ए टॉकन ऑफ लव एंड शी इज ऑर्डर्ड बाय फ्रेडरिक टू लीव द कॉर्ट to be banished in the same way as her father was that's all for today and have a nice day tomorrow we will discuss act 2 of the play